one of the important uh, questions for anyone who wants to learn you know Hadoop MapReduce or any big data frameworks is like what exactly is big data why do we need any framework to process big data how is it different from you know any other uh, processing that we do on you know normal size of data so obviously as the name suggests big data is uh, you know uh, a class of problems where the volume of data is pretty huge uh, and the velocity of data is very huge right data is coming at very rapid rate but but we need kind of example where we can differentiate how you know when the uh, size of data increases how the complexity of the problem increases so a good example could be like just think of us you know a sorting problem now just think about a, a, a case where you want to sort let's say 10 numbers every day you'll get 10 numbers and you'll you'll have to sort them that is your business use case let's say and if, if you are just getting 10 numbers every day probably you don't even need a laptop you don't even need a you know calculator or any any machine at all you can manually sort them every day right because you have 24 hours every day and you are just getting uh, 10 numbers you might just sort them in you know a few seconds manually now if uh, you know the amount the uh, the numbers that you are getting every day is thousand probably you'll say okay I'll write a very simple program or I'll just put them into an Excel and I'll sort them right it will just take a second not a problem if you're getting 1 million numbers every day you'll say okay I'll write a simple sorting algorithm not a problem any sorting algorithm even bubble sort should be fine right because it will take just seconds and there is no point spending efforts in optimizing your sorting algorithm any sorting algorithm will work right because you won't gain much in terms of performance even if you optimize your sorting algorithm now if you're getting 50 million numbers every day you'll say okay I need to look for a good sorting algorithm so that it you know it, it kind of does it efficiently I'm, I'm not wasting time in processing I'm not wasting computing resources so you look for a good sorting algorithm now if you're getting 1 billion number every uh, numbers every day you'll say okay probably I need to write a multi-threaded application a multi-threaded program which can sort these numbers because that will be efficient that can utilize all the resources of a machine right all the cores of a machine and if you are uh, kind of applying merge sort which is using all the cores in parallel your uh, sorting algorithm is going to be more efficient right because it is utilizing all the resources of a machine but your complexity of the pro uh, problem or program has increased now if you're getting 100 billion numbers every day you'll say oh it might not even be possible to sort them all uh, on one machine right because ultimately there's a limit to the number of cores that you can have in one machine so you'll say okay I need 10 machines right and I, I, I need to write a program which can work on 10 machines in parallel now your complexity of your program has increased multifold now your program needs to first you know kind of divide the data on 10 machines then it will launch some separate tasks on 10 machines all these tasks will work independently and finally you will be merging the results together right so complexity of your solution has increased multifold so that is where frameworks like Hadoop uh, you know uh, come into picture so these frameworks what they do is they let you focus on your business problem which is sorting in this case right and all the things related to distributing your algorithm to different machines or in a cluster of machines are handled by the framework itself so Hadoop is a framework which kind of distributes your processing in a cluster of machine and make, makes it easy for you to write solutions that can work on huge amounts of data by utilizing a cluster of machines by utilizing more machines than just a single machine right so so that is where frameworks like Hadoop and MapReduce are useful.